All right, my name is Christian Nacho. I'll be talking to you about thermal tolerance generated by blind fungi symbiosis. Um, so what these researchers found is a plant and a fungi that's able to thrive at 50 degrees Celsius, which when you think about it, um, we can actually exploit these um, mechanisms to really try to develop our crops in agricultural zones where you can find, find plants that can actually thrive at these temperatures. So what this plant and fungi can do is actually form a symbiotic system in which they can actually thrive at, as you will see, above 65 degrees Celsius. And without the fungi, the plant is unable to develop um, at, this, at this temperature. So, like I said before, the, the beneficial applications of this relationship can actually be used in agriculture in systems like, in countries like Africa where temperatures are really, really high and the tropics. And another application that people have actually been working on is the potential of using this fungi to actually develop biofuels. And in the past, one of the molecules that have been derived from um, studying the relationship between fungus and plant is um, Taxol. If, if you know about Taxol, it's a molecule used to um, treat patients with cancer. It's an antimicrobial uh, drug that, can, that has been used for, for a very, very long time. So in this article, what they did is they collected um, um, plants from these two sites, Yellowstone National Park and another site, um, the Lysin Volcanic, where temperatures are really, really high. And what they did was they surface sterilized the seeds and did two different conditions. Oops. One condition is, is where they grow the, the plant under laboratory condition in sand and other conditions where they grow it um, under field condition, meaning they use the soil from the, from, um, from the field condition. And they have the symbiotic system and the non-symbiotic system. And what I will show you, show you next is that plant in, uh, with the symbiotic system actually survive compared to plant um, the system where the fungi was absent. So this is actually the only figure that they present in this paper. But as you can see, at 65 degrees, you can see that the plants are dying. And, and at 50 degrees, the, the, the plants are, the, these pictures are not the, the best pictures. But um, according to the paper, they, they're saying that um, the plants are actually not surviving at 50 degrees. And, non and as represent the non-symbiotic system <laughs> where the fungus is actually absent. And under field, under field condition, you can see the same thing right here. You don't see any growth of that particular plant. So really, um, the conclusions are the, the, the plant, they can tell you, um, Lenogenosum requires a fungus cultivator to develop thermal tolerance. And neither species can survive alone at 50 degrees, but can actually withstand temperatures up to 65 degrees Celsius. The fungus might also conduct heat away from the plant along this extensive network of cells, or the two might exchange protective signals while exchanging nutrients. So really, in conclusion, identifying the components that allow this species of plant to survive uh, could be exploited in the context of sustained agriculture. And with that, I want to take